Hi everyone, Peggy here, writer of this guide and online education enthusiast. I'm briefly jumping on this video to show you a couple of the amazing things that Koala Go can bring to your online teaching. We're going to highlight three things in this video, um, show you how they work and give you a quick introduction to what they're going to make easier or better for your teaching online. Um, those features are the login process, just to make sure you know how to do it, uh, the whiteboard and why it's so special, um, creating custom classrooms just to keep everything personal and tailored to your students and then we'll get, finally we're going to have a quick look at the open playground. So let's kick things off with the login process. Um, as you can see I'm already logged into Koala Go. It wasn't hard for me to get here. Um, all you do is you open up the login page, you put in your email and you enter the code that gets sent to your email. Um, this is the same whether or not you're a registered user or a first time user, which makes it really simple. And also uh, it will stay logged in as long as you're using the platform frequently. So no complicated login processes in order to get in. You'll notice that once we're in, we've landed on this whiteboard. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you how to use on the whiteboard before we jump into all of its special features is how to invite your students. In the top left hand side up here, you'll see a little icon, a uh, person icon with the plus button. You simply click this and you'll be given a link with which you can share with your students. This link is the same no matter who your student is, how long you've been using Koala Go, which classroom you're using. And what that means for you is that you can put this link in any of your automated email chains, in your calendar invites, wherever is helpful and wherever your students are going to be accessing it frequently. You don't need to update it every single time. That's super, super useful. So now onto the whiteboard. Um, and we're going to have a quick look at why this whiteboard is so special and why it's so useful uh, for your students. Um, so as you can see, it takes up most of the screen. It kind of functions in the same way that a whiteboard would in a traditional classroom in that it is the center of the learning space. Um, just like in a traditional classroom, you can scribble on it, you can rub out your scribbles, you can draw, you can write equations with your students, etc., etc. The great thing that you can do about this whiteboard, however, is you can add in pictures and or files which you can then draw directly onto during the lesson. So as you can see, I've got a screenshot here in the middle of a phonetics table. This is really, really useful because this means that I can uh, point to this with my students. We can draw on top of the letters if we want to. We can uh, select certain letters with our, cur uh, with our sorry sounds with our cursor and we can really interact with a file directly in the lesson. If you have Koala Go Pro, you can use this button down here in the le bottom left hand side to upload a file directly into the whiteboard. Now, what this means is that say you've got kind of, I don't know, a teaching, a reading exercise uh, that has spaces where students can write in extra things that they've learned or words they think are missing or letters they think are missing. You can upload this directly onto the Koala Go whiteboard and the student can draw onto the file as you're going through the lesson. You can also add separate slides. So you'll see in my cursor, I'm selecting this uh, icon of four squares up the top here and you can prepare a different activity on each of these slides. This means that you can have several activities lined up for your online teaching session before the student even comes into the classroom and you can simply flip between the different slides to activate each of those activities. This means that you don't have any time wasted within the lesson faffing around setting up new activities. It's all done beforehand and you can really maximize the teaching time that you have. Amazing. So on to our third uh, feature, which is the customized classrooms. Um, this can be found up in the top right hand side of the screen. You'll see that there's two icons here. One has three stripy lines. One says student two. Um, if I click on the three stripy lines, this is the menu. And you'll see that about half uh, near the bottom of the menu, um, there is an icon that says my activities. Now, Koala Go uses the word activities to describe classrooms. So you'll find that these are a little bit interchangeable throughout the rest of the video. Um, if you click on either my activities or student two, you will be sent to this page. And this page has your three activities or classrooms already lined up and ready to go. Um, you can, the first activity is the one that's um, the blank, the blank space that's set up by Koala Go already for you. The student one and student two are two uh, classrooms that I have set up myself. Now, if I st we're already in student two, that's where we saw the table that I showed you earlier. If we go into student one, that will take a little bit of time to load. And then you'll see that there's a different activity set up here, presumably for a different student. What this means is that you can store and prepare learning materials for students individually and you can have all of the materials that you would use for one student saved in one place. 
Now, this means that you don't have to do any of the faffing about of tailoring a whiteboard, tailoring a classroom for one student, using it and then re refreshing it for another student. It's all just there and ready to go. And you can personalise it for each of your students, which is really, really fantastic, especially if you're teaching with students who are on very different levels. Now, if we go back to that overview page that I showed you with each of the three classrooms or student or activities, sorry, you'll see that on the left hand side, there's this yellow button that says go to marketplace. If you click on that button, that actually takes you to a uh, store where you can purchase template classrooms that have been made by other teachers. Now, this is really amazing if you're a bit strapped for time or maybe you're running a bit short on inspiration. You've just started using Koala Go and not quite sure what to use it for yet. Um, and you can also support some of the other teachers in the community by purchasing templates that they've made in advance that you can use with your students all very good now the last thing we're going to look at is the open playground um, the open playground can be found by clicking on this little icon here right in the bottom of the screen it's a squirrel um, if you click on the open playground you'll be taken to the open playground so let's see what that looks like it takes a little bit of time to load as they get everything set up but this playground like the whiteboard can essentially be customized and tailored to your students learning needs so within it the student can of course play games and walk around and explore new things but it can also you can also add in your own learning activities that you think your students will find particularly useful as you can see, once we open it, you'll see yourself, an avatar of yourself, the teacher parachuting in. The student will have a very similar experience. Once we land, you'll start by that there's a couple of different things you can do with your avatar. You can customise it, which is really fun to let your students do that for a little bit at the beginning of a lesson. You can switch to see stuff from the first person view and you can then explore your open playground and the activities that are in there. You use the arrow keys on the keyboard to explore which makes it really, really simple. Just like the whiteboards, you can actually purchase pre-prepared template playgrounds from other teachers. So some people out there have made these incredible worlds um, which are packed full of games for spelling um, or reading. Um, and you can simply purchase that, set it up in your classroom and launch into that with your students at the beginning of each lesson. And if you want to close the playground, simply click this X. So there we have it. Those are our four main features of Koala Go. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about it, please do head to uh, our Koala Go guide and read it in some more detail or even check out the Koala Go website and become a Koala Go user yourself. Thank you very much.